Praise the Lord, good morning. I greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a joy and a privilege to be here once more this morning to minister the word of God. Amen. I always say Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Circumstances may change, situation may change, laws may change, constitution may change, people may change, but Jesus Christ never changes. And always remember, my friends, that Jesus is more than enough. Hallelujah. Praise God. I welcome you this morning in the presence of the Lord. Those who are here this morning, I welcome you in Jesus' name. I welcome those who are watching online, who are watching from YouTube, Facebook, wherever you are. You're watching from your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, your car, your washing here, wherever you are this morning. God bless you richly. And I want to tell you, that God is more than enough this morning. Hallelujah. He is more than enough. Let's pray this morning before we get into the word of God. Father God, this morning I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you thanks. I thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and your great concern and the working of the Holy Spirit. You said in your words, healing is a children's prayer and the first covenant to you make with man was the covenant of healing. I pray this morning, you touch me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I command every sickness, every virus, every germs, every disease, every infirmities, every pain right now I command to go in the name of Jesus. I claim divine healing from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. By his stripes and the healing. I pray God this morning, I thank you for healing for you. I pray God this morning, you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my body, anoint my soul, anoint my mental faculties. I pray God as I minister your words, your words will go forth with fire on the anointing of power of the Holy Spirit. And many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be delivered, many will be set free. Many will come to know thee as Lord and Savior this morning. Into thy hands I commit my life, I ask in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Healing is a children's bread, right? Amen. The first covenant Jesus made with man was a covenant of healing. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. With the stripes, we are healed this morning. I believe in healing this morning. And every spirit of witchcraft and obia and demonic forces and evil that come against us this morning, I destroy under the blood of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus repents and destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every walk of darkness. I thank you, God, for victory this morning. I thank you for healing. I thank you for health. I thank you for strength. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. And God is more than enough this morning. Praise God. My topic, beloved, this morning, I like to preach on the God who is more than enough. The God who is more than enough. I have one portion of scripture this morning. It's taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 1. I have three dots this morning. When Abraham was 90 years old, when Gabriel was 90 years and nine old this morning, the Lord, he said, appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Walk before me and be thou perfect. My friends, this morning, when the Lord God appeared to Abraham, what he actually said in Hebrew was, I am El Shaddai. I am the El Shaddai God. The El Shaddai being the God who is more than enough this morning. El Shaddai is one of seven covenant names through, through which God revealed himself to Israel. In Hebrew, El Shaddai means the Almighty Sufficient One. What does it mean this morning? The Almighty Sufficient One or the God who is more than enough. The translator of the King James Virgin translate El Shaddai as Almighty God. I like that. Since God is the all 
self-sufficient one than he is uh, the almighty one this morning. I say since God is the all-sufficient one, then he is the almighty one this morning. The one who is more than enough. The God who is more than enough. Are you serving the God that is more than enough this morning? The God that is more than enough uh, is able to see you through life uh, in every situation, every circumstances, uh, every trial, every testing, every tribulation. The God who is more than enough this morning is able to heal you and deliver you and set you free. The God who is more than enough uh, can do miraculous things for you this morning. Hallelujah. That's the God we're serving. Throughout the Old Testament, my friends, uh, Almighty God reveal and un unveil himself uh, as the God who is more than enough. Uh, he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Uh, at one time, God told Abraham, Thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and they shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Why did God tell Abraham that? Since God is the all-sufficient one, then he is almighty. He is the one who is more than enough. Why did he tell Abraham that? And also that nation, he says, whom they shall serve, I will judge, and afterwards they shall come out with great substance. According to Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 and 14. He says, and they shall come out afterwards with great substance. Indeed, my friends, when the children of Israel leave Egypt after 430 years, they came out with great substance. They came out with lots of wealth, lots of things of Egypt. Hallelujah. 430 years went by. God came on the scene and spoke to a man by the name of Moses, who led the children of Israel out of Egypt. The Bible tells us they were leaving. As they were leaving, however, Pharaoh's heart was hardened. He went after them with his soldiers, intended to recapture them and make them his slave again. Yes, he wanted to make them his slave once again after serving him for 430 years. Can you imagine that? My friends, the children of Israel stood on the shore of the Red Sea and they were crying at the shore of the Red Sea. What are we going to do? They say, they cried. The Egyptians were behind them and the Red Sea was before them. One side of them was wilderness and the other side were mountains. But the God who is bold and enough spoke to Moses and said, Moses, straight for thy rod. And then Moses did so. The waters of the Red Sea parted along enough for the children of Israel to go across on dry ground. They were delivered, my friends. I said they were delivered. When the Egyptians army attempted to follow, they were drowned in the depths of the sea, according to Exodus chapter 14. Hallelujah. We are serving a great and powerful and mighty God. Now listen to this. One modern scholar wrote, it really wasn't much of a miracle for the Israelites to cross the Red Sea. He says the water was very, was only ankle deep at the place they, 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 they forded and they crossed. Then, then when, I read, when I read that, I thought, dear Lord, the poor simpleton think that the whole army will drown in ankle deep water. I would have been, it would have been a greater miracle, my friends, than ever for a whole army to be drowned in ankle deep water. Some people are really stupid and crazy. Hallelujah. My friends, the issue is not that they drowned in an anchor deep water. The issue is that, they, that God divided the waters and Israel crossed over on dry land. Hallelujah. It happened just as the Bible says it happened, my friends. God divided the Red Sea. I says God divided the Red Sea. Hallelujah. The God who is more than enough uh, dividing the Red Sea. Hallelujah. When the children of Israel arrived safely on the other side, the woman got out of their, got out of their musical instruments uh, and began to sing and dance uh, in the song of the Spirit. Uh, God gave them, it says, uh, and the depths uh, were congealed in the heart of the sea. Exodus uh, 58, uh, congealed water is frozen. 
God made the water stand on both sides like a wall, my friends. He froze it. I say he froze the water and the children of Israel walked across the sea on dry ground. Then the word was spoken and the water came together again. God is more than enough. The Jehovah Jireh, my provider, the El Shaddai God, hallelujah, the El Shaddai God this morning, the God who is more than enough, uh, was a children of Israel delivered uh, from Egypt, or the Bible tells us, uh, and which Canaan land, they ran into other difficulties, one after the other. One day they were fighting a cruel, a crucial battle against the enemies. It was getting dark. If, if night fell, they might lose the battle. Hallelujah. And they were worried. And Joshua, the leader, prayed that the sun and moon stand still in the sky. Joshua chapter 10, verse 13. As a result, God stopped the whole universe. Time stood still because a man prayed. Time stood still because a man prayed. Hallelujah. Our prayers are powerful. One man prayed and the whole, the, the, everything stood still. The sun remained the same. The moon remained the same. That's power. Hallelujah. One prophet prayed. Elijah prayed and he command the heavens to shut up and no rain for three years, three and a half years. That's the power of God. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, it's stopping. Time stood still because of one man. Because a man of God prayed. A man here, notice I say, a man of God prayed. God could do that because he is almighty God. I say, my friends, God can do that because he is almighty God, the great I am, the creator and sustainer of the universe. He is the all-sufficient one this morning, the God who is more than enough. Hallelujah. He is more than enough. In other places in the Old Testament, we see, we see this God who is more than enough revealing himself in the lives of men and women. Uh, patriots uh, and prophets and priests and kings. Uh, we see Elijah praying on Mount Carmel and again Elijah and the fire of God falling from heaven to consume the sacrifice. Uh, the prophets of Baal were cons was consequently defeated. Hallelujah. According to Kings, 1 Kings chapter 18. My friends, we see David, mighty men of war and think we are reading the exploits of, of Superman. Although they did supernatural feats, they were not wounded or killed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They overcome the enemies because the power of God was upon them. I say they overcome the enemy because the power of God was upon them. Hallelujah. The power of God was upon them. Hallelujah. And they defeated the enemies. Hallelujah. Because the power of God was upon them. He is a God who is more than enough this morning, my friends. Even in the midst of war, hallelujah. In the New Testament, we see Jesus appear on the scene and declare, He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. In John chapter 14, verse 9, he told the Jews, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see, see my day, and he saw it, and was glad, according to John chapter 8, verse 56. My friends, this morning, the answer, Thou art not, thou art not yet uh, fifty years, they answered him, and hast thou seen Abraham in verse 57? Jesus says unto them, Before Abraham was, I am. In verse 58, uh, Jesus says unto them, Before Abraham was, I am. God has revealed himself to Moses uh, in the Old Testament uh, as, the, as the great I am. Hallelujah. We are serving the great I am today. Jesus was telling the Jews, I am that God. You are looking at the God right now. The God, the Lord Jesus Christ, demonstrated in this earth. Walker, Walker, that he is a great God. He's a great God. I am. He is more than enough this morning. My God is more than enough. My friend.
friends, those who are hearing me this morning and you're worried about the economy, you're worried about your job, you're worried about the situation, you're worried about the circumstances, you're worried about the mortgage payment, you're worried about so much things. I want to tell you today that the God you're serving is more than enough and He's able to supply all your needs according to the riches of His glory. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us God says in His words, He never seen the righteous forsaken nor a seed begging bread. Hallelujah. He is more than enough this morning. Hallelujah. He is more than enough this morning. Hallelujah. He is I am. Jesus was telling the Jews, I am that God. And you are looking at God right now. The Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated in his earthly walk that he is a great God. I am his more than enough this morning, my friends. Hallelujah. We also see Jesus and the disciples with the multitude out in the wilderness where Jesus preached what we call the Sermon on the Mount. Do you remember the Sermon on the Mount? The people have been without food for several days and were almost fainting from hunger. The people had no food for many days and they were almost fainting from hunger. And Jesus told the disciples to feed the multitude. He said, just feed the multitude. They replied, we don't have anything, master. They looked around but all they found was a little boy who offered them his lunch. Five barely loaves and two small fish. According to John chapter 6 verse 9. Jesus had them sat the, sat the crowd in the groups in groups. He took a little boy lunch and fed the 5,000. He is more than enough. I say he took the little boy lunch and fed the multitude. He is more than enough this morning. The God of miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The God of miracles, he can perform, oh, great miracles, my friend, because he's a God who is more than enough this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, little boy, lunch was served. Jesus had them seated in the crowd in groups, and he took a little boy, lunch, and fed 5,000. Not 1,000, not 2,000, not 3,000, not 4,000, but 5,000, and he had many leftovers. He is more than enough. He is more than enough to supply your needs this morning. What is your need this morning? Is there a financial need? Is there a physical need? Is there a spiritual need? Is there a social need? Is there a material need? Is there an education need? What is your need this morning? My God is able to supply your need this morning because He is more than enough. He is more than enough this morning, my friends. We see Jesus attending a wedding in Canaan of Galilee with His mother. Jesus told them, Jesus told them they had run out of wine. She told them, that they, they, they mother told them that they have run out of wine. And she instructed the servants. Whatsoever he said unto you, do it in John chapter 2 verse 5. Jesus told the servants to fill the water pots with water and carry them to the governor of the feast. By the time they got there, the water has been torn into wine, my friends. And the governor exclaimed, you saved the best till last. Then we see Jesus approaching the city of Nain and find a funeral procession, procession come out of the gates bound for the cemetery, my friends. The dead man was the only son of a widow. Can you imagine a mother losing her only son? The dead, the, 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 the widow's only son has gone. He had died. Hallelujah. So Jesus, oh, so Jesus, the one who is more than enough, stopped the procession. He stopped the procession, walked up to the coffin and commanded the fellow to get up. I says he command the fellow to get up out of the coffin. The man did that Jesus restored him to his mother. You can see that in Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 15. Jesus, my friends, is more than enough in your circumstances and your situation. One day word came to Jesus that his friend Lazarus was dying. 
But Jesus purposely, purposely tarried a few more days before making his way to Bethany. Yes, my friends, he delayed his arrival. He delayed his time for going there. When Martha learned that Jesus was coming, she ran out to meet him saying, Oh, Master! If only you had been here, my mother, my brother Lazarus would not have died. And she was wailing and crying. And Jesus says, your brother shall rise again. Martha, my friends, replied, oh, we know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Oh, he will rise at the last day. And Jesus says, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Then he says, take me to his Sepulchre. He says, Take me to a sepulchre. Lazarus' body had been placed in a cave, my friends, which was sealed with a stone. And we all know the story from Sunday school. And when Jesus ordered people to roll away the stone, they protested. By the, by the time he stinks, they said, they said, but they did not, uh, they did what Jesus commanded. They obeyed the master, they obeyed the Lord. Jesus says, Lazarus! Lazarus come forth, hallelujah. Lazarus came forth, my friends, still wrapped in bone, breath clothes. When then Jesus said, loose him and let him go. In John chapter 11, verse 1 and 44. My friends, God, who is more than enough, is greater than get. I hear you, my friends, this morning. God, who is more than enough, is greater than get this morning. Hallelujah. God is greater than death this morning. Hallelujah. Outside Jericho, one day Jesus saw a, beg a blind beggar named Bartimaeus sitting by the side of the road. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus of Nazareth uh, was approaching, he began to cry out. He says, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Hallelujah. And Jesus stopped and says, what will thou that I should do unto thee? And Bartimaeus says, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Jesus healed Bartimaeus, my friends, giving sight to the blind. He healed the sick. He made him walk the blind sea. He performed the miraculous. He is more than enough this morning. He is more than enough this morning, my friends. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. If you believe God and trust Him, things can be different here and now in this life. Yes, my friends, things can be much more better here and now, my friends. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ said, the same. God, who I'm speaking about 2,000 years before he leave this earth, he told his disciples, I will go, and when I will go, the Comforter will come, which is the Holy Spirit, and you will do greater works than I did. What did Jesus did? He was the master of more than enough. Heal the sick, raise the dead, make the lame walk and blind see. Provide financially, physically, socially, materially, educationally, every need in our lives he provides. And God says the same, Jesus says, and ye shall do greater than I did. Because God, the Holy Spirit, is with you. I remember preaching my message that you are the temple of God. And God, the Holy Spirit, lives in you. And God, the Holy Spirit, that was with Jesus upon the face of the earth, is in you today. And you can perform the miraculous. Because the one who lives inside of you can perform the miracles. He is more than enough this morning. Hallelujah, my friends. So often we re regret everything to the past. We say, oh, it was wonderful back when Jesus did all these things. Or we skip the present and talk about what it will be like when we get to heaven. Praise the Lord. Someday all the sickness and pain will be over. We say, one of these days I'm going to leave this Valley of tears. Here I'm wandering like a beggar through the heat and cold, quoting an old church hymn this morning. But my friends, things can be different now. Things can be different now. I said things can be different 
for you and me and for all the believers in this life because no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation, no matter the trial, no matter the testing, the God we serve is more than enough in your situation and in your circumstances and in your trials and your testing. He will able to provide for you, my friends, because he is more than enough. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. But things that can be difficult now. If you believe and trust Him, things can be different here and now in this life. He is the God who is more than enough. Hallelujah. Was not or will be. He is. I say He is. Jesus Christ. He is the all sufficient one this morning. He is the all sufficient one this morning. He is not just the God of yesterday. Hallelujah. He, he is not he just the God of yesterday. I said before I start preaching this morning, he, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Circumstances may change, situation may change, laws may change, constitution may change, people may change, but Jesus never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is the almighty God, the all-sufficient one, and He is able to supply all your needs because He is more than enough this morning, my friends. He is more than enough. He is the God of now. He didn't say, I am the God who was more than enough. No. He didn't say, I am the God who will be more than enough. He says, I am the El Shaddai God. He says, I am the El Shaddai God. He is the El Shaddai God this morning. God is El Shaddai today, my friends. I says, God is El Shaddai today. Let him be the God who is more than enough in your life this morning. Where if you are this morning in church, in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your office, in your car, Wherever you are this morning, and you're hearing my voice and hear this message, I want to tell you God is more than enough. What is your need this morning? Did you lost your job? Can you pay your mortgage? Are you scared about the economy? Is your family member sick? What is the situation? Can you, can you not afford to pay the tuition fees? What is your problem this morning? What is your situation this morning? The God you're serving is more than enough in the name of Jesus. I sent for the anointing through the power of the Holy Spirit this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are lacking in their life this morning, I release the God who is more than enough this morning. Receive your miracle right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Those of you who are healed and sick and bound this morning, be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sickness, every pain, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every walk of darkness, I command to go in the name of Jesus. Every witch, witchcraft, worker, and demonic forces that are working against you, I destroy and reverse it in the name of Jesus. Be free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. That financial need this morning is met in Jesus' name. That lack is met in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. I see a woman with a knee problem this morning. There is pain in the knee. I command that evil pain to go right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are serving my friends. A God of miracle. And this morning is more than enough. He is more than enough. He is Jehovah Jireh, my provider. He is the Shaddai God, the great I am this morning. Put your trust and confidence in Him. For God is in you. He is able to help you. And see you every, through every circumstances and trials and tests and situation this morning. This morning, my friends, I love you in the love of God. God bless you richly. Do have a wonderful day. I will see you next week. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you richly. Hallelujah. Amen.